Hello everyone, um, just a quick catch up video, I um, wanted just to update on what I've been going doing lately around the sewing zone. Actually I haven't been doing much sewing but what I have done is I got this dress out which probably looks a bit like what I had on in the last video and that's because the last video was a wrap top and this is a wrap dress and it's all been made with the same fabric. This uh, fabric I bought pretty much a little roll of it in an op shop. If you look at it carefully, if I can show you, it's got this kind of crush detail. I'm not sure, I wasn't sure about it, so really both things have been like wearable muslins. But, um, and yeah, I mean, but it's pretty been pretty difficult to work with, particularly when I'm not quite sure what you do with the sit, you know, I've, I've been able to do that but anyway as a way of testing out the pattern for the rad patterns martha dress and don't think that i'm not working for rad patterns and actually i only own three rad patterns and one of them is knickers so it's not there's no uh, i have no special affiliation with rad patterns but i just happened to see this martha dress on some bigger people and thought i'd give it a try and also i think it was on sale for about five dollars um, I had been thinking about the cashmere Appleton dress, knowing that I wouldn't have to do a full bust adjustment for a cashmere pattern, but their patterns is quite expensive. They're about, I think it was $18 and it, that's a lot of money really. Um, and then when this one came up and it seemed to look good on bigger people and it was $5, I just went ahead and bought it. So if I just show you it, oh, I just want to say that I finished this dress a little while ago. But I don't know if this happens with you, but what happens with me is sometimes I thought, hmm, not sure. I put the dress in the wardrobe and forgot it for a while. And anyway, it was cold. It was too cold to wear it. Now it's spring in New Zealand. So I thought, well, I should get that dress out and have a look at it. And last Thursday, I wore it for the first time and I actually felt pretty good in it, which is good. So I think I probably will wear it, even though it... It's not great quality material and may go a bit shabby quickly and might not last too long. I'll try and get some wear out of it. Let me just show you as best as I can. If you look here, I made, I did actually do a full bust adjustment and I gathered the extra, what should have been a dart in, which was a mistake. Um, but I'm not going to unpick it. And also I made the wrap wrap a bit more because I've got quite a fat tummy and I wanted it to wrap properly across my tummy um, because the problem with wrap dresses of course is wardrobe malfunctions but then when I tried it I very very wear belt very rarely wear belts but I realized that I've got this big elastic belt and this big elastic belt actually really sets it off so I'll probably wear it I'm kind of you know this dress it it wraps over and it's quite stretchy and there's quite a bit of pressure on these these ties but of course the belt will take that off but I, I, I wore it with the belt and it must be the first time I've actually worn a belt for years and because it's stretchy it's comfortable but I liked it, I felt it, it set it off I'll put, post some proper pictures of it So yes, it's spring in New Zealand. Finally, finally, it's spring. Um, what am I making? The next thing I'm going to make is actually a boring make. It's um, my husband's. His clothes are absolute rags. He's He works partly as a builder and he does forestry and he's a real outdoor man and his clothes, he just wrecks them so quickly. And here you can't, I had a look in the charity shops, can't find him sweatshirts or anything. So I had a look through, I thought, well, I'll, I'll see if I can make him something. I had a look through my stash and most of the jersey fabric I've got is too fancy for a man, but I did find this. 
which is just a very, it's not actually very stretchy, but it's just a plain blue and it's quite heavy. I've got 92 inches of it um, and looking for a pattern. I was going to use that free pattern that uh, Claire from Penguin and Pear shared, but then I, I've been doing a bit of charity shopping and I found this one, which if you look, it was 60 cents. So it's probably was originally 60 cents and was a 1980s pattern. In fact, my son looked up the pattern company and it closed in 2000. So, you know, the, the fabric company that's printed on here. So, but I think that will probably be fine to just use this plain to make a top for him. Hopefully it won't take me too long because it's not a very exciting make. Um, so what else have I been doing? Oh yeah, op shopping. I've been, I've been out and about a bit because the weather's been nice and, uh, yeah, I went down to visit a friend and she had to go to the dentist and of course where did I have to go the op shops so but I, I had a real score when it came to patterns so I got this one quick so 3021 if you can see it I don't know if you can that's lovely. I will have to do a full bust adjustment for that. And I am the top of the size range, but I think with the full bust adjustment, it will be fine. And then I've got this one. This is obviously quite an old one, but it's got a skirt here that I really like. If you can see it, that one there, really like that. And then I score, I think this is a real score. This is a completely, well, they're all, I think maybe those two might've had one little piece made up. This one is an untouched pattern. It's the Closet Case Charlie. I looked it up and that pattern would cost me 18 New Zealand dollars. And I have seen that made up on, on bigger people and it looks great. So, and as spring is coming, I thought, what a score, couldn't be better. Very happy with that. And then couldn't resist this one. I've never owned a pattern by named clothing. This is the Tavliki sweater. Not sure if I like that high-low hem, but, uh, and I won't be making any more sweaters now because I'm fed up with winter. I want, I'm really looking forward to some spring sewing. So um, no, won't be, do, won't be making that, but I'll put it in my stash for next year. And it does have some rather interesting uh, neck detail. So uh, yeah, I feel really happy about that. And I also scored, if I look, a bag of zips for a dollar. Good quality thread, 50 cents. And another bag of zips and piping for a dollar. Well, all that sunshine must have gone to my head because I happened to come across this on my computer, printed it out, taped it up and thought I'd give it a go. See, it's not a great fit and probably what I've done is make, make it so it's too big in the upper bust and shoulder area and not big enough in the bust but hey I think I can make this dress wearable enough to wear at home anyway to be honest the fabric is just something I had in my stash that I didn't like at all funny enough when it's made up I like it a lot more um I was would have been almost prepared to throw it away but uh now it's made up, I'm going to give it a go. I It needs a bit more work. I've tucked it in the cupboard. We're, not, we're in spring, not in summer yet. So I'll get it out again and have another look. I've got going on, yeah. So I'm going to make this, um, this sweatshirt for, for my husband. And then... I don't know. I'm going to make something summery because, boy, I'm just so tired of winter and I'm so looking forward to summer. So be talking to you again soon about that, whatever it is I make. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. I'm, I'm not really planning to do anything major with videos, but it is quite a good way to record 
what I do, my makes, as much for myself as for anybody else. Um, so yeah, look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.